Hello, Junkaholics. Today, we're going to be breaking some crop apart. And today's crop is the Smith & Corona uh, electric typewriter. Um, this one, I usually try and resell uh, these old things, but this one's got some issues. Um, the case was broke. The keys are broke. Um, it's just really not worthwhile. And it's not that much of a desirable model. So I thought, hey, let's uh, break this apart and see what we can get out of it. So first of all, like any project, I want to first cut off the cord. So that's out of the way. I'll put that with my insulated extension cord. And uh, I'll just toss it here for right now. So I've never taken one of these apart before. So um, excuse me if I seem inexperienced. And that's because I am. And uh, I guess what we're going to do is flip it over. Take a look for any screws. Make life easier. So... Oh, that doesn't seem like it's going to work, so I'll just use a, a regular screwdriver. Wonder if this one will work. Hmm. screwdriver screw in there, okay. All these screws are magnetic. Oh, there's no screw back there either. I have a suspicion that looks like it's brass. Mm, but... Let's see. No, they're tin. It's made to look like brass. Okay. And there's that. Um, take this thing. Oh, that came out easy. Now. Well, let's see if there's anything under these. No, 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 I don't see anything. Okay. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. okay, so this is a piece of plastic. Good for nothing, nobody. There's no metal on the inside. We'll just throw that in the garbage. Another piece of metal. Yeah, let's see. Does this come apart? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to flip this around so it's easier for me to see. Okay, I'll take this screw out. Another magnetic screw. Should be one on the other side. Right, yeah. This is my suspicions. I thought. Okay, another piece of plastic. There is a lot of piece, a lot of plastic on here. Um, oh, 
Okay, and here's some more screws. And one more here. Let's see. Now we're coming along. I want to know if there's more hidden screws. Not. I don't see any there. Hmm. Well. See more screws back here. I wonder if they will help us. Stop being nice with this. Oops. There's a piece of metal there. There's a piece of metal right here. So I'm going to throw that. And I'll try and get. Oh, it's the this thing here. So what we'll do is. that somehow. Okay. That goes in my tin. Okay. So another piece of plastic in the garbage. My oh my. It's a lot more complicated than I thought. Um let's see. Let's see, let's see. Is there I'm wondering? I'm not sure there isn't any. Put that with the other wire. Okay. Somehow this is attached to something. Mm-hmm.
Okay. What are you hooked up to? Oh, I think I just found another screw. Right in here. There we go. Now that comes out like this. Now the rest of this case is plastic. There's a lot of waste. <coughs> Sorry for being so loud. Now let's just check to make sure. Okay, that's aluminum. Oh, piece of metal. That's a piece of metal. Metal. Feels like aluminum or stainless, plastic, metal, metal. Um, in here, there's a piece of aluminum there. More tin. Oh, a transformer and a little motor. So I guess that's the first thing we should go after. We will see how that works. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, everything about this thing is being difficult. Flat screwdriver, let's see. that one I couldn't get at earlier. Well, now that the case is gone, that's made it a lot easier. Okay, grab those screws. Go with the others. Okay. This wire. There we go. There's another screw here. Let's see if that makes any difference in the world. Maybe I 
Look at that. Came out slicker than not. So here we got a little transformer, a little electric motor, I'll micro scrap that later, throw that in my copper bearing motors. Um, not a lot in there. I wouldn't strip that. I personally wouldn't strip that. I don't think it's worth my time. Um, feels like a little piece of aluminum. So, but you never know. I'll check it out later and we'll see what happens. <coughs> Get rid of these. More garbage. Uh, Here, how do we get the carriage off? I don't know. Let's try taking these screws out. There's four of them. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to take this cartridge out. I don't think the factory meant to change a cartridge with a three pound ball. Well, look at that. Some confetti for a wedding. Streamers, I should say. That's all kind of junk. Let's see. Oh, that's a piece of aluminum right there. A little piece of aluminum. Yay. Throw this weapon in the garbage. Or drive me insane. Thinking with this. Just do a little housekeeping here. Uh, I know we already checked this. Oh yeah, it's 10. Okay. So what's under here? Oh, more junk. More junk. Oh, here we go. More stuff we can strip. Whoever thought it was a good idea to put flat-headed screwdrivers and stuff should be shot. Not that I condone shootings of any kind. Let's take it easy out there. We don't need a bunch of comments. Okay, and then... Some more here. Come on. Okay. And let's see. Okay, if that doesn't work, that always works. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, almost always works. Let's 
get another. Wow. Worked that time. Some more plastic. It's going to be the bane of my existence. More tin. Okay. So, let's see. That's a piece of steel. Let's get rid of this piece of aluminum. I'm almost thinking. be the only thing worthwhile in this thing besides the metal I'm gonna steal okay uh, here's a piece of aluminum I'm not sure if that's sheet or extrusion but if Anybody can let me know. That would be awesome. <laughs> Get rid of this piece of plastic. <clears throat> so that goes in the aluminum pile. Okay. Ah, gee. That's 10. Oh, that's this thing here. The thing where all the letters are on. That looks like it might be aluminum. <coughs> we'll see if it's even worthwhile taking it off. Another piece of tin. Okay. Now, how does that come off? So many little screws. channel to from nice junk to damn that's a lot of screws mm. and they're tight too mm. normally I don't normally tear these things apart um you should just throw them in the shred into the tin. That's what I normally do. Because I don't think, I think it's 90%. Since I've never taken one apart before, I figure I need to experience this to see if it's worth my while or not. Oh, things are coming at me. Why are these screws so tight? Let's see. Some of these screws just will not come out. Oh, that one worked. 
find sometimes if you strike a screw, the screwdriver in the slot, it'll break something in the threads and then all of a sudden you can turn it out like this one. Okay, one more over here. This guy's been nasty. There we go. Oh my. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Will this take that piece out? Okay, there's one. coming out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I think I might have just found the secret. Another one over here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here we go. And still not. Well, I see there's appears to be one more over there, but I have to try and access it. Well, Tell you the truth, people, I don't think these things are worth it. I've been playing with this now for 28 minutes, and there really isn't a lot of stuff in here. Like, almost everything is magnetic. Um, I guess I can continue trying. Really don't want to disappoint you guys. There we go.
One more screw right here. That wants to be a bugger. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Will this cut? Oh my. Okay. I think I'm going to call it that. Um, we're now at 31 minutes and there just isn't enough to really warrant this problem. So we've got a couple pieces of a, one little tiny piece of aluminum that's like a quarter pound. Um, a motor transformer. And then we've got a piece of tin. Uh, on a piece of tin. That is worth eight pounds, five ounces. So I'm not going to keep you from, uh, I'm not going to tell you you shouldn't scrap electric typewriters. Um, all I know is I will never scrap another one. Um, I could have just as easy thrown this all into the into the tin trailer and uh, it would have probably been about nine, ten pounds. <coughs> and all I've done is reduce the weight and gain no value and wasted a whole bunch of time. So that's it for today, folks. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you, you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and this is not nice junk. Yeah. Have a great weekend, folks. Bye.